The latest from the West Country Newsroom in 25 minutes after Westwise. Welcome to the final of Westwise, the family quiz about your town and region, introduced by Ian Brass. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the final in this present series of Westwise. After many a hard-fought battle over the weeks, we've reached the climax. Our teams, Barnstable, introducing Elizabeth. They've got to know you by now. Yeah, Feeling so. comfortable? Yeah. Everything well? <laughs> Confident? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, That's Elizabeth. Next team member is Jonathan. Everything well with you? I hope so, yes. Jolly good. Very, much. Very smart. And uh, final team member for Barnstable is Mary. Fine, thank you. Settled? Ready? Yes, thank you. Jolly good. Ladies and gentlemen, the Barnstable team. <laughs> right, battling with Barnstable in this final. Ooh. Bob Min, Daniel, everything well with you? Evening. Fine, thanks. All ready for it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Every question you have to answer in Cornish, you do oh, realise right. this. Yeah. Can you manage that? No. <laughs> oh. oh, a couple well. of words. Bit of a shame there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second team member for Bob Min is Jill. Good evening. Nervous? Past caring at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> We're pleased to hear it. And the final team member is Eric. Everything oh, well yeah. with you? Yeah. Thank yeah, you. yeah, good luck with it anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Bobmin team. <laughs> well, all the teams, both teams in this final, competing for this specially commissioned cut glass Royal Briley Bowl. There it is. That will go to one of the teams a little later on during the course of this final. Excellent. Right. Place names round. Barnstable featuring first, on your screens will be a name. That name is Helen. I will give you three possible origins of the name. You have to give me its real meaning. Helen, there is the first one. A, hell land. The land was hell. Hard to get crops from. B, is it hail land? Hail or healthy land with good crops? Or is it C, old church? Is it A, hell land? B, Hail Land or C, church. Old <laughs> Church. Three possible origins. We think it's Old Church, C. You think it's Old Church, C? It is flashing, correct? Well done. <laughs> right, Bobman, same for you. Three possible origins of the name Lee. There it is. A sheltered side, as in the lee of a ship. Or is it B, woodland clearing, an old English lee? Or is it C, ploughland, old English lee? Is it A, sheltered side? Is it B, woodland clearing? Or is it C, ploughland? C. C, ploughland. Oh, ooh, woodland clearing. Unlucky. Famous faces round, moving to the Barnstable team, appearing on your monitors and screens. And your screens are home at the moment. Well, a famous face. Always problems this one causes. We have zoomed in the eyes of a face. As soon as you have any ideas, buzz me. As soon as you have any ideas, four points we're down to. Ah, on three points, Barnstable. Who should I Kipling, Rudyard Kipling. I'm having a clue. I'm having a clue, Mary. Let's have a look. Rudyard Kipling, two. One, oh, yeah. Thomas Hardy. Yes. Nice try, <laughs> nice try. Very good. Sorry. All right, Bobman, same for you. Upon your screens will appear a pair of eyes. You know the format. The more of the face you see, the less points you get. Here are your eyes, Bobman. Four points. Three points. Oh, on three points. T. Lawrence. T. E. Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia. I'm at a clue, girl. 
Correct. Well done, Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> All right, hysterical bite part of the program. Malcolm and Terry are going to give you clues via a little sketch. I'm going to give you a question, Barnstable. I'll give you that in a moment. Listen carefully, watch closely. Will you welcome the Westwise players? I can't try any harder, Merlin. I've never pulled as hard as this in my life. It is worse than trying to draw blood from this stone. All the clues there, Barnstable. Those Mary Paul on Bodmin Moor and Lowpool near Helston are both reputed to be the last resting place of which mythical object? Excalibur. Mary. Or even Jonathan. Excalibur. Excalibur. Arthur's sword returned to the lake by Belvedere. Correct. Well done. Hysterical bite, part of the program. Malcolm and Terry, once again for you. Bodmin, listen carefully, watch closely. The Westwise players. I never thought I'd live to see the day a jockey lost his trousers. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Piggott's going to live it dying. No, he didn't half blush when the crowd shouted, they're all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shouted, you've gone red, Lester. You did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? E. Dam. <laughs> the Somerset town, old men, the Somerset town of Froome holds a fair each September centred around which food stuff? Cheese. Pardon? Cheese. 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 Great. Well done. Right, Barnstable, hometown round. General questions about your hometown. Give us a buzz if you know. When did the Tiverton to Biddeford Link Road open? Oh, nice. A little fire, Barnstable, through to Biddeford. When did the Tiverton to Biddeford Link Road open? 1989. 89? Yeah. Give us a month. Oh, well, it was nine months ahead of um, completion. <laughs> didn't ask that. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what month? Go on. You had a tan at the time. June. July. Ha, but right anyway, 1989. <laughs> Bobmin, yours? Right. The church lost its spire in 1699 through the lightning. What was its height? <laughs> you can give me it in Cornish, Daniel, I don't mind. Yeah, okay. Bobmin Church lost its spire in 1699 through lightning. How high was it? 140 feet. Oh, 150. 150 feet, Jill. Oh, never mind, never mind. Right, Barnstable, on the 12th of February, 1890, the Town Council sent out a notice asking all business establishments to close between 2 and 4 the next day. Why? The 12th of February, 1890, the Town Council sent out a notice asking all business establishments to close between 2 and 4 the next day. Why? Eighteen ninety, the twelfth of February. The death of somebody, presumably. Mm. Need a name? Mm. Need a name from that time. A monarch. Um, no, it wouldn't be where it was. It's where it was still on the um, no, I'll have to tell you. To coincide with the funeral of William F. Rock, the town's much loved son and great <laughs> benefactor. You knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. One more for Bob Ben. Here we go. Oh, oh, lucky it's not how many feet. Why was the hospital open in Bob Why? Why? Why was the hospital open? Depends which hospital is there. <laughs> yeah. East Cornwall or something like that, isn't it? Well, I've got a particular reason why the hospital opened. Because there wasn't a hospital there before. <laughs> hey, that's quick. Hey, Jill. <laughs> We could carry on this banter all night. <laughs> yes, more than likely. But there is a one particular reason. It was a hospital, and maybe it was, it was opened up for some reason. For the leper, the leper's hospital. Well, there was a leper colony. There was a leper colony at Bodmin. That's at Lawrence's. Um, and then it became a and lunatic then, asylum after. Uh, it's actually to provide an industrial home for girls of weak intellect. You knew that one as well. well yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. right, one more for Barnstable. Um, the Priory of St. Madeline 
in 1107. Trudell of Totnes founded it, is that the question? <laughs> Could be. Who was the founder? The founder... Yeah, Trudell of, of Totnes. Well done. Round of applause for Barnstable. <laughs> uh -huh. Jill, you'll know this one. Which top American boxer visited Bob Min during World War II? Joe Louis. Joe Louis, correct. Well done. <laughs> right. At the end of the hometown round, a little learning up to do here. The scores are Barnstable, four. Bob Min, five. <laughs> right. We'll be back with you after the break. Thank you. Welcome back to the second part of the final in this present series of Westwise. Right, a little artifact round. What's the... Oh, why are they always heavy? What is the use? Whoa, Barnstable. Right, viewers at home, a picture of the object is uh, upon your screens. Right now, so turn away if you don't want to see. A bit late, because you're more likely to saw it. Right, you can turn back now and play along with the team. Right, Barnstable. I said, have a good look, discuss exactly what do you think it's for. The suggestion's been made that it can't fits on top of a telegraph pole. <laughs> fits on top of it? Who said that? Me. You? Yes. <laughs> What's it do then on top of a telegraph pole, madam? It carries the wires and it, it's, it's insulated from oh, whatever is underneath it. I think that is, that is close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes, yes, with thread in the centre, insulating cups from a, a pylon used to prevent shortage of electricity. And she is, that's it, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Right, thank you. Yeah, it's near, it's near <laughs> enough. I mean, I don't know how many donkey's years old it is, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give you that one. For you, Bob Min. And another little bit there. Oh, no. I shall be as lenient with you. <laughs> right, if you don't want to know what it is at home, turn away now. Up on your screen <laughs> is exactly what it is. <laughs> I, shall be, I shall be as lenient with you. They're all laughing their heads off. What's that, though? Right. <laughs> I don't know. 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 Try that one. If that's, if that's for drop, putting drops yeah. onto the exam. Yeah. It doesn't magnify. Well, there's something underneath. No, but I mean, whatever it is. Um, there's a hole there. There's a hole there. Yeah, they, they actually, I can give you a little bit of a helping hand. The tube is to prepare an item that goes inside the box. Those who know is are going, oh, wonder how. <laughs> right. Any no ideas? Think. Eric, Jill, Daniel? No. no. I'll have to have an answer. No. Anything, really. Uh, cool. The only thing we thought was an early, early form of microscope. Person. Early form of microscope. <laughs> With a lens on top somewhere. Yeah, right? nice idea, Daniel, yes. <laughs> Boy's <laughs> own wrong. stuff coming out here. A caterpillar preserving kit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. First, the insides of the caterpillar are removed, and then it is inflated. That's what that thing's for. Blowing Inflates up a ca caterpillar. Blowing up a caterpillar, that's Lovely. quite right. You can so it keeps its shape while being dried in the oven. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Right, where are we round? The where are we round on your monitors and your screens at home? In a moment, a small part of a local view will be revealed. As we pull back, more of that view will be seen. The more we reveal, the less points you get. Fingers on buzzers, as soon as you can identify the area, press your button. Here's your view, Barnstable. Oh, that was on four. That was on four. Green's hole. What do you want? 
Well, is it? The Queen's Hall. The Queen's Hall, Elizabeth. I don't know. Let's have a look. Up a little, two points. Four points for the Queen's Hall. There's the sign. Excellent. Right, I'll move the caterpillar kit out the way, Bobman. <laughs> right, for you, a small part of a local view is going to be revealed. The more we reveal, the less points you get. As soon as you can identify it, press your button. Here's your view, Bobman. <laughs> yeah. the, oh. the Tower at Bodmin Jail. Yeah. The what? The Tower at Bodmin Jail. The Tower at Bodmin Jail. I haven't actually visited, <laughs> but after this series, you never know. Let's enough. have a look. Four points you have, three points. Two points. Mm, right. There it is. The old prison. The old prison. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Constable, your golden oldie. Right, your golden oldie. It's in three parts. As it's the final, it's in three parts. Have a look at these pictures we have for you here. There's one, there's two, there's three. Right. Uh, um, what's going on? Well, I presume it's Harold Wilson visiting the Scilly Islands. He's going to his home in the Scilly, as I... Yeah, I think, I think we all spotted Harold Wilson there, yeah? <laughs> um, an event. An event. That is the golden oldie. It's, a, it's an event all surrounding that gentleman. What happened? A couple of things happened, actually. Robinson, does that mean anything? Robinson, yeah. Uh, it's not, not a... Not a um, um, was it, well, I don't know, when Mary Wilson's poems were published? <laughs> oh, trust you being a novelist to go for that <laughs> angle. When her poems were published? Yeah. Is that all you can think? No, sorry. Um, it, he, res he resigned while he was on holiday, and those were the holiday snaps uh, the reporters took yes, while yes, he was yes. on the Silly Isles, and he yes. resigned. And we nearly lost him before the resignation as well. Uh, Paul Rolfe and his son Simon pulled Lord Wilson to safety after seeing his red dinghy that you saw in the picture floating past an isolated spot and hearing his cries for help. That was August yeah. 1965. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. All right, then. The same format for you, Bodmin. Here's three. First one. Second one. Third one. What's happening? <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh, there's a boat sinking. There it is. There it is up on your screen again. It's an event. It was many years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. There's a golden oldie. Yeah. Is, is it the uh, Torrey Canyon? No. Sinking the Torrey Canyon? No. Somebody in the audience. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the Flying Enterprise. The Flying Enterprise sank January the 10th, 1952. Captain Kurt Carlson. He stayed aboard until all hope was gone, trying to save the crippled freighter. Nice try, nice try. Historical bite time. Let's have a laugh once again. Malcolm and Terry will give you clues via the sketch to announce... Well, I'll give you a question in a moment, OK? I'll give you that in a moment. Listen carefully. Watch closely, Barnstable, as we welcome the Westwise players. Bolson, take this man below. Give him a few lashes, some mascara and a tin of wrinkle cream. He looks awful. <laughs> All the clues which Gilbert and Sullivan operetta actually mentions a Cornish name, a Cornish town. Pirates of Penzance. The Pirates of Penzance. All the clues are there. Excellent. <laughs> All right, Bodmin, eyes on your screen. <gasps> oh, good Lord, Holmes. I've never seen a corpse with such a look of horror on its face. And look, look, his throat's been torn out. What manner of creature could have done this? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> In which work of fiction does the great Grippen Meyer feature? Hound of Baskervilles. The Hound of the Baskervilles, correct. Well done. <laughs> right. A score update at this point. Right. We hate this part when it's ten all. A round of applause for both teams. <laughs> right. 
The quick fire round. Fingers on buzzers. It's all down to this until we run out of time. Who described the rock formations around Brown Willy Hill as being shaped like giant furniture with monstrous chairs and twisted tables? Describe the rock formations around Brown Willy Hill as being shaped like the Ring of Bobmin. Sir John Betjeman. Daphne du Maurier. What was the name of the horse owned by Her Majesty the Queen Mother and ridden by Dick Francis, which mysteriously slipped to the floor when it appeared to have the 1956 Grand National in the bag? A buzz from Barnstable. I think it was Devon Lock. Devon Lock, correct. Where would you... <laughs> right, where would you find the rock stack known as the Armed Knight? Where would you find the rock stack known as the Armed Knight? No... No, Land's End. In which fishing port is the British Fisheries Museum? In which fishing port is the British Fisheries Museum? Nope, Brixham. Penwith House is to be found close to which tourist attraction? The Ringing of Bobmin? Land's End. Land's End, correct. Which famous work of fiction is subtitled A Romance on Exmoor? Ringing again of Bobmin? Lorna Doon. Lorna Doon, correct. The Cornwall Coliseum Auditorium is St. Austell's boast... Well, it's... Yeah, the auditorium in the Cornwall Coliseum in St. Austell boasts Britain's longest what? The Cornwall Coliseum Auditorium. It's in St. Austell, the ring in above me. Bar. The bar, correct. 104 feet long, 34 pumps. One final one. The white lady is to be found at which famous gorge? The white... The ring in above me. Cheddar. Lidford, Lidford. And I think that's it. That's all we have time for. A score update after that hectic round. Barnstable with 11, Bodmin 13, and the winners of Westwise 93. <laughs>